everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to be drawing this cartoon fish who I think most of you will recognise. These are the items that you're going to need to do this project today. So if you haven't already got them, pause the, the video and go and collect the items that you're going to need. You're going to need a large a piece of paper. You're going to need a bowl, which is about a small pudding bowl, 11 centimetres. A smaller circle, which is a lid from the Pringles, which is about 8 centimetres. A tablespoon. A small ruler. An eraser. This is my putty rubber. We're going to need a penny. A normal drawing pencil and we're going to need an orange and a black pen pencil or paints of your choice so once you've got all your items together this time we're going to put our piece of paper landscape which means you're going to have the paper sideways so that our fish will fit onto it So first of all we're going to take the larger bowl and we're going to use a guideline so when you draw around this try and make it as light as you can because the guidelines are going to be rubbed out at a later time. So put a dot into the middle of your circle, use your ruler to do a cross, so a line down and a line across the page. Again this is going to be a guideline to make it easier for you to draw the fish. give you a moment to catch up and then you're going to take your smaller circle which could be the lid of a Pringles tin place it so that it sits almost to the middle of the picture and again carefully draw around it this is going to be the guideline for making the fish's face continue your guideline along the middle for a about and two centimeters put a little dot above the line and then a little dot a little bit lower and then use the tip of the spoon to join those two dots this is going to be where Nemo's tail starts and then draw a dot on our guideline circle and join it up to the dots that we've just made just like this and then rub out your guideline and just tidy up a little bit then you're going to do a dot this is going to be the top of Nemo's tail. Take your dessert spoon and use it to create a guide to join the two dots up. Now you don't have to use a dessert spoon, you can draw this freehand if you want to, but I'm using this just to make it easier for people who are not. Make sure that you've got the spoon shape in the right angle for the fish's tail and then again use the edge of the spoon to create the bottom of the fish's tail and then join the edges up to start making Nemo's face shape. 
So if you can see I've put some dots and then we're going to just join the dots up to create the side of the shape of his face. And then follow our circle guideline around and there we have the shape of the fish's face. Don't worry if you go wrong you can always rub out and as you're going along you can start rubbing out guidelines that you don't need. And that's the advantage of drawing with a pencil first, you can rub out mistakes. Now we're going to do his eyes, so we're going to take the penny, place the penny on the centre guideline and carefully draw around it. Place it a little way away, wherever you choose. And again, draw around the penny. And now we've made the eyes. Use the penny to make some eyebrows. And then we're going to draw one line for his eye. Then we're going to draw the inside black part of his eye and then a little circle in the middle of this black which is going to be left white. When you draw eyes you always need to leave a little bit of white so it looks like the light's reflecting. And again we're going to do the same on the other eye. Draw in the black, draw a little white circle. Now we're going to take the dessert spoon, we're going to create his mouth. So if we turn the spoon this way up and just draw the bottom shape, we can get a lovely smile. And then draw along the top, do a little line underneath to make his teeth. And there we have his mouth. Now we're going to start doing the stripes on the body. So do a little dot just above where his face is. And very carefully draw a line around. This is going to make the white part of his body stripe. And then where the center, center line is, make another dot. We're going to start a line from here. And we're going to kind of do an, a backward S shape. So go down and curve round and now we've made his orange stripe. Then do another backward S shape and then do another dot here and go down and now we've made all the stripes. Put a dot in the middle of this stripe here and a dot just there which is almost in the centre and a dot just here and again use your spoon as a guideline and start joining the dots up. I'm not using the spoon, I'm going to do a nice wiggly line just because I can, which you can do or you can use your spoon. And then we're going to put another dot here and do a wiggly line down to that dot. Now we've got his fins. Now we're going to put a little dot here dot here if you notice this will be in his orange stripe going to put a dot here and then we're going to join those two dots with the underside of the spoon put 
put a little dot just underneath Nemo and again join the dots up. And I'm sorry, I've just noticed that the bottom of my picture is out of view, but I think you can work out what I'm doing. Hopefully you can. Then you're going to put a little dot on the side of Nemo's face near his eye, and another little dot, and then again use the spoon we're going to start creating his other fin. Put a, a little mark, but we're not going to do a straight line. We're going to kind of go around that little mark and curve in to join our first dot so that we've created his fin. And I'm sorry you can't see this bit, but I'm now drawing in the two little fins at the bottom of his bot body, which are just like two little triangles curving round. And then I'm going to put three little lines onto his fin. One line, two line, three, four, on his top fin and I've just noticed I've still got my lines and guidelines underneath so I'm going to take my rubber and rub away all the guidelines underneath and all the lines that you can see that you, you don't want carefully rub them away so that's your initial circle and the cross line in the middle Don't worry too much if you rub out some of your own drawing because we're going to draw over the top in a minute. And again, I don't know if you can hear this snoring, but it's not me. It's still dinky and tinsel. Which for any of you who know us, Dinky and Tinsel are two pugs. Okay, let's get back to the drawing. So I'm going to start drawing around the outline of my fish, making all the lines nice and strong, neat and tidy. lines in for the tail fin this part is the white line around his face thinking and tinsel you're making me very sleepy to go around the eyes and I'm going to use my pencil to fill in the dark part of the fish's eye when you're doing his eyes you can you can make your fish look in whichever direction you want to you don't have to copy what I've done and again if you make a mistake take your eraser just rub away and then redo so I've just redone the little white bits of the eyes this is a very important part of the eyes because it makes them look like the light shining on them and it makes you 
it shows the direction that the eyes are looking. Okay. And I think we're very nearly finished. So just finish off rubbing out any parts of the drawing that you don't want to see your picture nice and clean and sharp and tidy and then we're ready for the fun part so I've taken my orange pen and I've painted in these parts of the fish you don't again you don't have to do orange you can make your fish any color you like And then when you finish doing your colour, go around with the, a black pen and just carefully go over your original lines in your coloured pen or pencils. Now I've put in a few bubbles, done a few circles, just to make it look like the fish is in the water. I think a few bubbles underneath as well. If you want to, you can put some other fish in the picture. But this is today's finished fish. I think he's rather sweet. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. I think it's been moderately easy. So get painted, get creative and I look forward to seeing your work.